Welcome to another episode of What's New in S2M Center version 5. In this video, we'll be going over the new features in Labelit. The first new feature I want to go over is the new set of variables that were added for text and barcode fields. The variables that were added are part.nominalLength, part.nominalWidth, part.cutLength, and part.cutWidth. You can use any of these variables in either a text field or a 2D barcode PDF417 field to get the information that you need. The next feature that I want to go over is a new label it field that was added, the material description field. You now have the ability to get the material description from the part that the label is being created for. What is the material description? If we open the Cabinet Vision Material Catalog, we can see this property field right here. This is the text that will be displayed. The final new feature is the expanded orientation symbols for drill and dowel machines. Let's take a look at a sample output to see what this means. The arrows will indicate how the part should be fed into the machine, and since this part was on the saw face down, that the face up programs will require the part to be flipped. When two programs share the same name but different face up down requirements, then multiple arrows will be shown to accommodate. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of the S2M Center. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you need more information on the S2M Center, you can visit us at www.screentomachine.com.